today I want to talk about how to use fonts on Squarespace. So if you're starting with a template in Squarespace, I'm starting with the Augero template here, you're going to see that there are some default fonts selected for your template. You can absolutely change these, and I'm going to talk about two methods for changing them today based on your level of comfort with design. So in either case, we're going to start out by clicking edit in the upper left corner of your page. And then once that processes, you're going to see a paintbrush icon in the upper right. When you hover over it, it will say site styles. Go ahead and click that. And then the top option here on the right hand side of your screen under site styles is fonts. You'll click that. Now, if you are new to the world of design, I'm going to say we're going to live right here. This reminds me of the scene in Hitch where Hitch is teaching Albert how to dance. And he says, this is where you live. This is where you live. So if you are newer to the world of design, you're going to adjust your fonts by clicking switch on the font pack here. Now, when you click switch, you're going to have three different panels of options. You're going to have sans serif, serif, and mixed. Now, if you're not familiar with what those words mean, it doesn't really matter. Sans serif means that your letters don't have little tails on them. They're a little less, a little less stylized than serif. Serif means there are little foots or tails on the letters of your font. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. So you can choose a sans serif font, a serif font, or a mixed font. So as you're clicking through, you can actually preview what that font looks like on your website. I'm going to scooch down a little bit so I can see a heading area and some paragraph text because this is the heading text and this is the paragraph text. I want to see how those render on the page here. And you can see that some of these fonts are a lot taller and they're going to push the information down a little more. Some are thinner. Some are going to be easier to read than others. This, don't use this one. It's so hard to read. Um, any of the others I'm fine with. Uh, this uh, gopher is one of my favorites for a sans serif pack that has a little bit of oomph and style to it. But click around. Find the one that, number one, is readable, and two, feels like your brand. So there's really nothing you can go wrong with here. I mean, even if you choose my least favorite, um, <clears throat> this guy, I mean, people can still make that out, right? It's, it's hard and you're going to want to keep your headings really short if you use that one, but all of these are made to work well together. So the heading font goes well with the paragraph font and you can play around with these and figure out which one feels like your brand. So that was the sans serif panel. We can click over to the serif panel and look at some of these as well. These are typically a little more elegant, elevated look to them. Um, just, you know, like I said, click around until you find one that, that you like. One of my favorites for this funky fun type of style is Ono Blaze Face and Degular. It's this combo right here under mixed. And we're going to give that a second to update on the site. Sometimes it takes it a minute. So if you don't see anything change immediately, just give it a second. If you still don't see something change, you can click off and click back, but it got there. So I think this is a really fun one. It's readable, but it has a lot of personality. I think it stands up to the style of this template. The other one that I really liked for this template was Gopher. I think that one was a really fun one too. It had some style and interest to it. It stood up to the bold design, but it was still readable and accessible to people who come to your website. So click around here, change to whatever font pack you love. I'm going to stick with Ono Blaze Space here, and then you're going to just click save. And that's it. You've updated your fonts for the website. Now, if you want to dig a little deeper, I'm going to give you option two. And then at the very end, I'm going to show you a really handy trick for font choices on Squarespace. So stick around for that. But if you want to dig a little deeper than these font packs, you can. You can change global text styles. And there are four buckets that these fall into. Headings, paragraphs, buttons, and miscellaneous. Now we suggest only using two or a max of three fonts on your website, unless you are 
a really great designer because things can fall apart quickly when you start incorporating too many variations. So two to three fonts. I typically pick one for headings and use another one for paragraphs, buttons, and miscellaneous. So let me show you what that would look like. So for headings, what you can do is click into headings, then on font family, click the, your current selection, and you can see it's going to show me the fonts that are currently loaded in my style guide. I use that font pack, so I have these two. This one is for everything else. This one's for headings. But what I can do now, I'm inside the headings. I can click browse all fonts. Now, friend, there are a lot of choices, which is why I said if you're not a designer, or if you're new to the world of design, stick with those font packs. They make your life so much easier. This is a rabbit hole and you can really spend hours and hours clicking through all of these fonts, but I'm going to click Abril fat face. And I think that one looks really fun and readable. I think it works with this. And then what I'm going to do is go back to paragraphs. And instead of Dagular, let's select something else. Let's select Brandon Grotesque. That one's kind of fun and a little friendly. And I like it. I think it pairs well here. So now what I need to do is go back and make everything else match one of those two. So for buttons, I could choose either the Abril or Brandon Grotesque, either one. I'm going to stick with Brandon Grotesque for everything else just because it's a nice consistency and my headings will really stand out. Sometimes I like to make the buttons match the heading font. You can totally do that. There's nothing wrong with that. And miscellaneous, we're going to make that Brandon as well. Now, we've updated everything here. There is one more section under assigned styles that gets into the nitty gritty of things that you can change on a more granular level. There's one thing here you're going to update if you did the manual font choice and that is header button. So if I click custom header button, you can see it saved my paragraph font from the font pack. And I don't know why it does that, but you'll want to go in and make that one of the fonts that you're choosing your paragraph font, because it's going to be up near your nav bar. It will appear right here in a button. This template doesn't have one, but trust me on that. Just go ahead and update it in case you ever add a button. It will be the right font. Now there is a bug that you may notice. So let's go back. So everything now should be Abril or Brandon grotesque. But if I click headings and I click on family, you'll see Degular is still showing up. This drives me batty. I've spent hours combing through all the fonts, making sure it's not still loaded on my end. If you see this, don't panic. I got in touch with Squarespace support. It's a bug. If you really want them to remove it, you can reach out and ask that they remove it, that it's not, it should not be loading on your site, but they're aware of the bug. They're working on it. So hopefully by the time you watch this video, it won't be an issue, but if it is rest assured, it's nothing you did. Now for that quick tip that I wanted to show you, let's go back a bit more. And I wanted to show you a trick that I use a lot for styling, especially things like metadata on blog posts or pagination on blogs or portfolios. I want to be able to get to that stuff quickly without digging through this long list of assigned styles. And what you can do is when you get to that item on the page that you're working on, if you just click on that item. So here I'm clicking the site title. It will take you to that section of assigned styles and you can quickly get to the thing that you want to change. So I could make this uh, a different size can make it really big. Or I could, if I wanted to change the font on just my site title. So there's a lot of granular changes you can make in that assigned styles panel, but that quick shortcut I use all the time. And I wanted to share that with you. So that's it for fonts on Squarespace, how to change them, love them, use your font packs. I hope you found this helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your website.